the Iron Mountain at the center, Mount Maru, the data stream from the north. How can we tie in concepts which have previously seemed at odds with each other? How have we been living a cleansing process, all whilst feeling saturated with confusion and despair? If the situation here has been full of illusions rooted in control, fear, and bondage, then how can it also simultaneously be a game predetermined to eject those playing the living souls? How can an ascension back to the North Pole make sense if the state of the world seems so bleak? Because the broadcast, the stream from the zero point, has been the ghost in the machine. And until we understand this ghost, we will be pointing fingers at orchestrations which are nothing more than shadows. In Mercator's North Pole maps, it was demonstrated that the center four continents surround an axis mundi, a central pillar. The magnetic field of the toroid is generated by this central magnetic force. This field creates the toroidal stream, the data stream, producing an artificial net. It is no wonder that Mercator, the man most known for his depiction of the mountain, what he called the Rupes Nigra, is an anagram for creator and reactor. Tor. Most of us recognize this from the words toroidal and torment, both referring to the mind virus of the toroidal magnetics, which has been projected as a tool for the living souls to release what is polarizing and based in tension, good versus evil. That is the false consciousness this stream has been determined to play out and thus resolve. Mercator, Reactor, Creator. A reactor is an apparatus or structure in which nuclear material can be made to undergo a controlled, self-sustaining reaction with the consequent release of energy. Let's read that again. A reactor creates a self sustaining nuclear reaction with the consequent release of energy. These concepts weave together a clear picture, the exact one I've been describing in my videos, that the third dimensional form of Earth has been a self-sustaining project designed to release energy within that form, so the toroidal net can dissolve and merge everything back into the center. And of course, reactors are nuclear, referring to new and clear. After all, one could say this is a game about renewal, about achieving clarity. The Magnetic North has been broadcasting the stream, the show, the shadow cinema we've called reality, sustaining what we would call the outer lands via a purging process which has been releasing imbalanced energy into our individual and collective experiences so the toroidal field can quit the heart's lockdown and expand outwards. This is how we resolve the illusion of good versus evil, by recognizing the falsity in such contrasts and simply living out the stream till the end. The Axis Mundi lies beneath Polaris. So we have the magnetic rock beneath the pole star, the rock star. In Pythagorean numerology, rock star is a value of 33, the same value as torment. Mercator informs us that the size of the magnetic rock is 33 miles wide. Hmm. Rock stars are synonymous with devil horns, right? The horn symbolism is a mainstay of rock and roll, rock concerts. 
Well, the true rock star is at the bull's eye. Another name for bull is Taurus, talking about the toroidal field. The rock star at the center is holding up its horns, creating the toroidal structure of the bull's eye. We previously talked about the porthole, the bull's eye window, which is an anagram of North Pole. Are you getting the picture yet? Rockstar is the name of one of the world's leading video game companies, which publishes open world simulated games, like Grand Theft Auto and Red Redemption. Games where the player or players explore interactive virtual worlds full of non-player characters. This all synchronistically lines up to inform. The center has been broadcasting the torment, an open world simulation. All this has been is a processing of a data stream from the center. Rearranged, stream gives us master. What does this remind you of? Gently down the stream. Life is but a dream on the stream. And in technology, the slave master model is where one device or process has unidirectional control over one or more devices. The master transmits data, the slaves receive. We have been in the master slave paradigm during this experience in purgatory, receiving the exact experiences we need to cleanse ourselves, get rid of the master-slave paradigm, and return to Hyperborea. This video was made in collaboration with Neoglimmer. Thank you for watching. I love you all.